have faith in psilocybin as a method for helping people in this kind of situation. But just that the effect was so palpable was, was astonishing to me. It was beyond my wildest expectations. And I was just so happy for Annie and so grateful to Charlie and the other people uh, uh, on the staff who made this uh, possible. And then, of course, when you're thinking that way, you think, what kind of a country do we live in that puts up all these barriers and obstacles to prevent people from taking something that's a plant that grows that can help them? But, you know, you can drive yourself crazy asking yourself questions like that. And I thought, well, Annie and was, was able to take advantage of, of Charlie Grobe's efforts to get this study legalized, and I should just be grateful uh, for that. And it, I was just so happy for her because, you know, to have, as she said, to have the, the study and get the placebo when she thought she was well, and then in the interim of the two weeks or however long it was, to find out that she wasn't in remission anymore and was once again facing a much earlier death than she had any belief that she was going to have. Uh, imagine if it had been the other way, and she had had the psilocybin and then had to go back down out of her obligation to Charlie Grobe and, and was taking the, the placebo. So in that sense, it worked out uh, for the best. Amazing. Yeah, it really, really is is astonishing. Uh, I, I really think uh, that uh, I would never, speaking as an attorney, never have the patience to go through all the hoops to get a study approved by people who really didn't want to approve it. Uh, I mean, when you think about it, the dosage, my understanding is, was, was so low that if you were taking pain medications, you really couldn't get the benefit of the psilocybin. So as Annie mentioned, some, somebody had to forgo taking the pain medications, which they needed, in order to participate in the study. Well, that's almost like people are trying to set up the study for failure. I mean, this isn't Charlie Grobe talking. This is just my opinion. And I'm not, obviously, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist. But this is just, uh, seems to me, common sense.